Hello, Digidestin and Tamers, and welcome back to Digimobs into the Digital World. Alrighty, so, reminder to everyone watching, today ends the poll for the new Wednesday series. So tonight, at midnight going into Thursday, Eastern Time, I will be turning the poll off. Please, go cast your votes. Reminder, first place gets the Wednesday series, and second place will be the new Friday series after Digimon World Data Squad is finished. With all that said, I've decided today we're going to work on getting stuff for our Mega Base. So, instead of going for a Desert Lakes biome, we actively need a, n a different biome. We need a Badlands biome. So we're going to start the search. All right, so it looks like... Uh, okay, so there is no Badlands in a 10,000 radius from the base. This is an issue. Of course, uh, another issue that I have found is I have nothing to make rockets with. I have ender pearls, which can be used for flight, but I'm not sure how well this will go. All right. So we are going to go check a few other locations as we did go pretty far for some of our other stuff. So, first thing. We aren't going to go to any of the... Vill We're going to go to Ultimate Village 01. Because Ultimate Village 01 is pretty far away. And we're going to click on the Badlands biome again and research. Alright, 10k from here. Not found. Alright. So we'll go to the first volcano we found. From here. Badlands biome, search. Still nothing. Hmm. All right. So this is the far western waystone. We had stopped here when we were going on a long, long journey. Badlands, search. All right, looks like we found one about 7,000 away. So we can actively get there. The problem is I don't see a good way of the Ender Pearl actively working. So we might just have to boat for a bit. It looks like it's this way. Now hopefully we can also find a... Hopefully we can find a waystone as we go as well. Did that dolphin just push my boat? Eat one, you stupid dolphin. A lot of this episode is probably going to be travel, as... I didn't think a Badlands biome would be so out of the way. But the reason we're going for a Badlands biome in specifically 
is I need a certain... I need yellow terracotta. Working with the mega base, I'm going to be working on... Ah, that's an underwater ruin. I'm going to be working on a design... I based the design off of uh, an old friend of ours that we have, Greyforce, or is his name Greyforce? Yeah, our War Greymon. I got an idea and I wanted to make it as our kind of like it's not going to be the best mega base in the world, but I'm going to need blue terracotta and yellow terracotta. And I've already got one of the other items, which is a nether quartz. Uh, I don't have too much of the nether quartz. I do actively think I'm going to need more. But I can always go get more. Uh, there's also another biome I will need to find. Uh, when I was looking through all the various types of woods for a suitable interior look uh, I found one known as redwood and uh, it's actively the only one that I've found that I uh, I think would be make a great interior for the inside of the mega base now, of course We're, it's going to take a while to get all the materials needed for all this. So, we may even have to go back afterwards and get our fortune pickaxe upgraded. With, or we might have to go fix it. Alright, we're still... That is a mine shaft much higher than I've usually seen it. I forgot I'm at the o I'm at C, so right now I actively have to keep moving. <laughs> Otherwise, a drowned is gonna just come up, and climb in the boat, and kind of ruin the whole day. Did that just say that's a level 94 butterfly? Yep. Alright, so we're in the 90 range. Early 90s range. Not dealing with them. Man. Lo really should have made it daytime so that there would be a lot less monsters to deal with. Oh well. Hmm. Oh. Pukumon, level 90. Have I already tipped over the scale again? And I'm going down? Hmm. It's possible, but... I didn't think I would have already. A second time. That's a bit concerning that that's an 86. Yeah, I already tipped the scale a second time. 
Because we're heading northwest, technically, if I'm correct. Yeah, we've been heading northwest. So we've already tipped over the scale again of level 99 because or level 100 so uh if you remember the first time we were traveling looking for partner digimon looking for lands unknown uh one of the furthest parts we found was an area where we were hitting level 100s and it was about around the middle of an ocean and so that was the height of the level, and afterwards, we started going down the levels again. Well, it's looking like we're doing it once again. We've pushed as far as we could west to hit the peak, and then we're just backpedaling back down, even as we head north, west... So it might be not as quick of a uh, progression downwards, but it is still a progression downwards. Yep, there's a buried ship. Pink trees. Interesting. Uh... What in the... Is that a village? Hold on, is that a village up there? It seems to be. Alright. Oh, wow, this village is... Yeah, this is definitely a village, all right. All right. Skyrus. Okay, interesting. Well, that's a lot of book and quill. Fairy slippers, Skyrus saplings. Either way, we'll use the bed as a respawn point for now. Hopefully we can find uh, something... I don't... That's Prismarine. Interesting. Hmm. So this village does seem a bit different than the villages I've come across so far. Ooh. It's like a Tori gate. Like a Japanese style Tori gate. Alright. Uh, what's what's in this house? If there's a door. Nothing much. Uh, bunnies. Okay. I know we were heading for... Oh, I forgot to leave those behind. I honestly should have left those behind before even coming on this adventure. Oh, looks like I broke one of their crops. Oh, level 74 merchants. Hmm. So far, it seems like each of their build... If any of the buildings are inside the rock, it does seem like those buildings at least are... Potentially ruined. It looks like the farms and everything might be potentially ruined. As they are somewhat obscured by the stonework of the mountain nearby. Uh, here we go. A lot of these houses seem to have bookshelves. Uh, all right. Uh, some emeralds and a lead. Fairy slipper. I still don't know what that is. Hmm. 
This is a odd little village. And this looks like it would be an animal pen. Yeah, they're animal pens. Huh. There is a f house or two further up, but I do want to get back on our way of heading for the next area. But it does seem that that village, that village does seem to be based on some of these trees around here, the Skyrus trees. It's, it's interesting. Probably should have. Uh, I need to better work on my landings, but it should be fine. Looks like I'm getting to a forest that's similar to the forest around the around uh, Digi Village 01, and I am gonna be. I'm at least happy for something familiar. How much further? Uh, still a 4k distance, but familiarity makes it to where even the digital world has some spice or some some things that feel at home. And then there's just the always the same of I'm going to keep hitting myself like that. <sighs> Oof. All right. Yeah, it really does feel like back towards Digi Village 01. Come out of this forest and you have a swamp. Hmm. Not seeing anything that. Oh, Marine Angemon. You're. Do I have you? Hold on. Where's my. Here you are. Oh, I do. Okay. Interesting. Level 60. Level 66. Hmm. Certainly gone down a bit. Not fully, but. There is a lot of coral here. If I can make sure that the bay, the uh, Badlands is actually a Badlands, I can certainly come back for some coral if I ever need it. Though I do believe you need Silk Touch for that. I do have a Silk Touch Axe. That might be able to help. Maybe light up the uh, river with some sea pickles. All right. I see a mountain range in the distance. Oh, hi, Pokemon. Looks like I'm still about 3k away, so... Makes sense there might be a mountain range in my mountain range or two in my way. Though these mountain ranges do have a lot of the digi the digi ore that I don't really need to use the Huan Long ore. Yeah. 
I just need to get a... Honestly, the major goals right now of the series are a mega base. Whether we move into the mega base or not is... Honestly irrelevant. It's mainly build the mega base, finish up my armor set to where it is completely cleaned up to have my full enchantment set. And then, yeah. Set. Set off and find the true partner, Digimon. Though, it may take a while, considering the two volcanoes I've found never seem to spawn them. Hmm. All right. Now we're getting somewhere. We're still about 2.7k away or 2.6k away, which is a bit annoying. As I've been traveling following the compass in as straight a line as I can. And I say as straight a line as I can, considering it goes, it hits a diagonal. Uh Oh, another one of those villages. Hmm. It's marvelous that I get to see another one even if even if I won't be going up to join to uh check the festivities in the village. Ah, Cherrymon. And Rapidmon, okay. I will check my D term, my uh, Digidex, aka my D terminal. All right, so Cherrymon wasn't added yet. Rapidmon was, okay. Oh, Mock Galgamon, your uh. You're what Mirage would have turned into. Ooh, and a Lilamon. Okay. A few new Digimon added to the Digidex never hurts. While traveling. Ooh, Monzaemon. Thank you, Monzaemon. Love you, big guy. All right, back on the journey. Ah, dark oak fort. That's a dark oak forest up ahead. Ooh. That's a massive ravine. And there are some of those unique ores. Hmm. I still never figured out anything about them. Well, I never tested anything with them, I should say. All 
All right. Let's see. Looking through this forest is... Uh, if my Digimon were able to, you know, actually fly and... Right on their backs, though. I think you need a Digimon. I've heard something about a Digimon saddle, which might be needed. Oh, I'm not going up those mountains. I'll go around if I have to. Allium flower bush. All right, having to go through a birch forest. Level 36 Cherrymon. Hmm. This Badlands may actively be... Oh, hey, Kabuterrymon. I'm back to champion levels. Kabuterrymon. Ooh, Kawagamon. A Woodmon. Alright, I'm back to... Like I said, I'm back to champion levels. Numamon. Alright, I'm less than 2k blocks away. In... It looks like it's meant to be that direction. And even now I can't see it. It's still just a dark oak forest. Okay. Simbar and Goramon. Oh, him. Yeah. Uh, I think a lot of people actually don't call him Sim. I, th I think they go with Symbol and Goramon. But yeah, that's uh, the Digivolution of Angoramon. And we've been seeing his. Uh, in training form a lot around Digibase 01. I hadn't even thought about seeing where... Hold on, that's a volcano. Okay, so there is a volcano here as well. Interesting. We are coming up on champion and rookie areas... Is it... Hmm. Seedramon. So this is still champion area. I... Hmm. I'm going to mark this on the map. I'm going to get a little bit into the volcano area, and I'm going to mark it. Oh, perfect. I don't even have to mark it. I have waystones. Whew, there is a lot of waystones around here. So this was meant to be a desert from the looks of these waystones. All right. Now it is saying to go that way. 
but I want to see how far. I might want to see how far the rabbit hole goes before we head off towards. our base because we may have found a good area for finding the true partner Digimon all right looks like this is where it end caps at so I will leave since we have to head this way I'll leave a sandy waystone here There we go. With a possible rookie volcano being in right near where our Badlands was, our Badlands is, it it's perfect. I can Okay, so that is not a possible rookie one now. I will have to change it. It is a champion level. Which makes me skeptical on actively getting the partner I want. Due to the fact that it's very unlikely I'll actively get that one. But it is still possible. All right, so we're st we're still going in the right direction, and hopefully we come up on the Badlands soon. It's saying I'm less than a thousand blocks out from it. It's saying I'm less than five hundred, but I don't see anything coming up on the horizon. Where is it? Alright, it says I should be on a dead course for it right now. What's that over there? There it is. Welcome to the Badlands biome. And I gotta say, I've never been so happy to see something I need. Yellow terracotta. Already 16 yellow terracotta, and I just touched down. Oh, right. Uh, let's go ahead and place down the backpack. And get a good night's sleep on the backpack so that before we place the new waystone down here. All right, we now have a Badlands biome. All righty. So that is where we are going to call it for this episode. Thank you everyone so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video. Stay digital, y'all. Bye now.